Joe, we're a little over a month until you're back in the ring. How's preparation going? How's camp going? Yeah, it's back to work. I'm training, I'm sparring. Things are going well, actually. But it's a slightly different camp. It's not like Vegas. It's back here in England, back in home turf. So, yeah, just um, back in the gym and getting ready. And um, it's good to be back in there, and especially back here, like watching the boxing. I think the, you know, it's really got the juices flowing. I'm, I'm ready to get back in action and be, be back in the ring with a big fight. And uh, going to fight with uh, Cash Alley. And then March 16th, and then after that, then be some bigger fights than that. But yeah, I'm, it's good to be back in the gym training and I've got a goal uh, to, work, to work to train for. You took a nice long holiday, so you're jumping off rocks and all sorts uh, around the world. How, how much are you enjoying being back in training and putting yourself back through that hard graft? Well, it's, uh, it's tough. It is a job, but it's, you know, it's something I, I have to, I enjoy. It's a job that I enjoy and it'd be good when I get to the, uh, back in the ring, but to, to get that adrenaline going again and um, get back in there, really. Um, Cash Ali, you know, it's, it's obviously a fight that, you know, can offer some, something different for you, but I guess that you're really thinking about how you can go in there and really impress and show everyone what the juggernaut's made of. Yeah, um, I remember Cash Ali, who's sparring him actually, so yeah, I, uh, I forgive me if, he, if he's watching this and, you know, you thought I didn't remember you. I do remember you, and you know, I just it was just. But yeah, it's uh, once we get in the ring, it's put all that aside. It's going to be a fight, and uh, it's a good fight, and it'd be good to be a bit better. Get back in there and get have a good, uh, you know, a good uh, good good win, and then go on on from there on to you know big, bigger and better things. But I'm not overlooking. Cash Ali, he's a, he's a good fighter. We did some really good rounds in the gym and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready. Two people who, um, in the period since you last fought, who have done very well and kind of got their name back on top are Daniel Dubois and Joseph Parker. How much do rematches with those two motivate you? Yeah, they I mean, yeah, that's yeah it's like it's exciting time to be a heavyweight there's so many matchups and especially yeah so you know it's really good to see the performances that they they made and um it'd be good to get back in again of course for, for a rematch and you know it only raises my stock from beating the, these guys guys before and how well they've done in the recent months okay of the two you've beaten them both who deserves a rematch more I don't know. Like, let's see, see what makes sense. Like I'll consult my team and come up with the best option. Who would you rather give it to? Any 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 preference? Anyone can get it, you know. <laughs> um, the Fury Usyk cut. Um, do you think that makes much difference to that fight and and, and who the favourite is and who you think is going to win? The Fury Usyk fight. Yeah, you know Fury got cut. Do you think that makes much difference to the outcome of the of of that you thought it would? Would happen. Um, well, it gives it gives them both more time to train, etc. But I guess, yeah, it's just unfortunate, and that's what happens in boxing. And uh, yeah, it's not too long to wait now. Three months. Yeah. Three but do you, months. do you think that benefits either of them? Um, well, I mean, the talk of the town is it benefit benefits Fury more, but um, I don't know. Like, I, I could uh, could have like. You know, with Usyk's preparation, his mindset, like going in for that day, it, you know, it's difficult when you like have a fight postponed for both parties. So, anyway, this uh, it's it's still going to happen. It's going to happen. Like eventually, it's happening. So, I can't wait to see it. You fought Usyk in the amateurs. You sparred Fury countless times. Who do you think wins, and and who's got the upper hand? I don't know. I, I don't, like. I always thought Fury, um, and then I, I kind of thought Usyk because he throws more shots. But you know, may the best man win. I think they're both great fighters, and you know, they 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 boxed uh, way longer than me. So um, we're going to see something that we've been waiting for for quite a while now. So I'm I'm just glad that it's happening. Two huge men who are getting in the ring on March the 8th, Anthony Joshua and Francis Ngannou. Any thoughts on that fight? And then potentially, uh, you know, would you, would you fancy the winner? Yeah, why not? Um, yeah, so, um, 
in this game for the big fights. Uh, these are big entertaining fights like that. And yeah, I, I think they, you know, so I think it's a really great matchup because they, they both got the power in both hands. Um, see, yeah, I, it's, I, I, can't, I think that'll be a good fight. Has Ngannou got enough to, to worry AJ? Well, he showed um, he showed the world that you know he had a very close fight with Fury. So um, obviously, styles make fights, and they're both heavy hitters. So it's like who's who's going first? <laughs> but like, I, I'm sure um, you know there'll be a, an educated approach to the fight, of course. And would you fancy yourself in against Ngannou or, or, or some other MMA heavyweight? Uh, possibly, yeah. I'm, you know, this. I'm at the stage of my career where I'll take on all comers, and I'm looking to fight the top guys in the sport. So I'm just going to have uh, another fight to get back in there, and then I'll go to f fight some of these other whoever's whoever's on offer. Like there's um, there's plenty of big matchups to make.